there's a major grant that exists out there through the federal government, through the uh, Office of the White House Drug Policy, and it, uh, they get about $90 million a year, and it funds roughly 130 either new or renewed applications for this grant. The grant's a million and two hundred and fifty thousand dollars over ten years. You have to apply for renewal at year six. But there's a lot of uh, key things that you have to tie your organization to in order to be set up to apply for that grant. Uh, the document behind the, the model that I included for you all is a uh, the sector representation. And one of the requirements of the grant is that we have twelve dedicated sectors in the community and a representative that sits on our coalition and attends at least half of our yearly meetings to work on a variety of projects that we're now looking at implementing. Um, so basically when I arrived in October last year and started, I looked at all this good work that the coalition had done and I asked permission of the board if I could go out and do a series of stakeholder interviews because I wanted to try and discover what people saw as the shortcomings of the organization, what they saw as a vision for the organization. And so I did about 40 of those in about 60 days. And uh, very interesting, very uh, valuable input. And so I spent some time based on that input, based on the strategic plan, and based on the mission to try and put a model together uh, for the organization that would identify, classify, and prioritize goals and projects for implementation. So again, that ties right into this uh, um, drug-free communities federal grant.